it's great to have you back here at Rodney Parade. I bet you've got some fond memories of the place. Uh, do you want to tell us a bit about some? Uh, yeah, no problem. Like you say, it's a place that holds a lot of good memories for me. Um, sadly, obviously playing no more, but um, obviously looking back, probably uh, winning a few games against the Blues on Derby Day here, uh, either around Christmas time especially, um, with a full house at Rodney Parade. It's always special. So, yeah, probably the probably the most fondest and uh, fantastic memories that I have playing here. So Friday the 12th of August is the date that everybody needs in their diaries for your beneficiary game against the Blues. You've got lots of things happening here for supporters and sponsors alike. Um, do you want to tell us a bit about that? Um, yeah, like you say, Friday the 12th, um, it's going to be a 7.30 kickoff uh, for Lewis and my beneficiary. It's a uh, £10 uh, ticket for adults, £5 for uh, concessions uh, and season ticket holders. They were hoping for a big crowd, um, hoping that um, Dragons get a win mostly. Um, but yeah, like you say, other, other than the game, there's lots going on. Um, we have a hospitality tent where we've got food put on, um, including the match ticket, and there's Q&A with former, um, former legends from both clubs and current players from both clubs. You touched upon ex-players. Just look into the Dragons and the Blue squads, I guess. Is there any exciting talent or new talent that you're looking forward to running out at Rodney Parade? Um, I can't really comment too much on the Blues, but I know with the Dragons, obviously, there's plenty of players that, um, um, through the academy and things that are coming through and playing to keep an eye on. Obviously, there's Ollie Griffiths and um, players like Jack Dixon was injured last year. So Harry Keddie had a good 20s World Cup again and Six Nations. So, yeah, I think the future is bright, for, especially for the Dragons, and hopefully we'll see, uh, see them play against the Blues on the 12th of August. Do you personally have any favourite memories from playing against the Blues here at Rodney Parade? Um, yeah, probably one of my first derby, which we won um, in the pouring down rain, and that was a good day. Um, like you say, to get your first win, especially in um, your first derby against the Blues, um, it was fantastic. And then probably my last one then as well, um, which I played in, which was uh, again another wet affair, but um, yeah, another win. So um, yeah, I suppose the wins you remember more than uh, the losses. So it's probably good to be playing on a Friday night then with all this rain, you know, typical Rodney Parade. Yeah, no, I've got a good feeling it's going to be a nice night on Friday the 12th, so um, it's not the 13th, so uh, no, I think it'll be a nice night and hopefully we get a lot of people enjoying a good night. And just finally, what other um, plans do you have for your beneficiary? Do you have any other events that are happening after the match on the 12th? Um, yeah, we've got uh, dinner um, at the Celtic Manor. Um, Sam Warburton's attending for a Q&A plus a couple of the Welsh players to, uh, to be confirmed. Um, so fingers crossed, um, we'll have a good turnout there. We're hoping for, for 400 people plus. So um, it'll be a big event, black tie. So um, yeah, if anyone's interested, please get in touch.